This recipe is inspired by our friends across the pond because who doesn't want melted marshmallows and melted chocolate for dessert? Bring the campfire to your kitchen after dinner with this s'mores melted lava cake in just 10 minutes using your microwave. You will need cocoa powder, chocolate chips, marshmallows, milk, or if you're dairy free, whatever your family would usually use in its place, maple syrup, baking powder, digestives, again, if you're gluten-free, whatever your family would prefer, almond butter, and tomato paste. You will also need a ramekin. We've gone for an individual glass one. It's perfect for this. A spoon for stirring, and another container of some kind to make the topping for your cake. Let's start with the cake. Three tablespoons of cocoa powder, then three tablespoons of your chocolate chips, and you can find dairy-free versions or vegan versions of these in your local supermarket really easily these days. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon of almond butter, and then a tablespoon of your tomato paste. Trust us on this one. I know it's weird. You can grab your teaspoon and your milk or whatever alternative you're using, and that's two teaspoons of milk into your cake. It's starting to look full, but that's what's gonna give it that oozy, molten look once it's cooked. Then last, but by no means least, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder to help it rise and overflow. Now, you mix it. If you're really stuck for time or if the kids wanna get involved, it might be easier to actually mix it in a bowl separately and then just pour the mixture into your ramekin. Okay, put that to the side for a second because we also need to make the topping for the cake. This is going to need two tablespoons of chocolate chips, two teaspoons of the milk of your choice, and a quarter of a teaspoon of tomato paste. Mix it all together. Now microwave your cake mixture only for 45 seconds. While that's cooking, grab your marshmallows, and when it's done, you're going to sprinkle these on top of your cake and microwave for another 30 seconds. Keep an eye on it, because all microwaves are different strengths, and you don't want to overdo it. You're just going for that kind of gooey, marshmallowy texture on top. Obviously, anything that comes out of the microwave is likely to be hot, so either wait until it's cool enough to handle, or grab some oven gloves. Just starting to go that gooey marshmallow texture. Put your cake to the side for a second once your marshmallows are done and grab your chocolate sauce. You're gonna be microwaving this for about 30 seconds, but keep an eye on it again. And you're looking for that molten, really rich melted chocolate texture. So now you're gonna put the two together Pour your warm chocolate sauce over your finished cake and then sprinkle those biscuits over the top as well for that crunchy s'more bite at the end. And there you have it. Just in short 10 minutes, campfire to kitchen, your perfect after dinner treat. So oozy. Ah! <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh While I'm eating this, you subscribe to Mum's Nap because you'll get more microwave meals, more parenting tips, and so much more. Mm. Don't make me. Just, just go and subscribe.